You're making a habit of this calf. Come on, there you go. No, you don't. You don't live in there. No. Nope. No, nope. don't do it. Don't do it. It's 460, his mother. Who's down there somewhere? It's had a terrible evening. He's been defecated on the face. There's mother. Just ran right past. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Don't do that! Don't do that! Right. Stop letting him out. Idiot. It's always the parents' fault, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. John's just making his lists for which cows are going with which bulls. Who else we got here? 2373. Is that a heifer? Yes. She is a Vata daughter. Right. Okay. Carved heifers. Carved heifers. What's the number again, sir? What's your number? 2373. We're just looking for the mother for this calf, because it's not in this pen. Or at least we don't think so. No, it's obviously been... Uh, ah! It's got a 460 written on its tag. Does that mean it's with 460? You were with 460. Is that okay? Yep. That solves that mystery. So that's this side of the shed done. You know where they're going. Hopefully we'll turn some out next week. Turn some out this morning. We did turn some out this morning, yeah. First two. Right. Next door. It's been a bad day for this calf too. I would pet you, but you're covered in crap. So these are all the heifers that will see the bull for the first time sometime in May. So they're all going with Yik Yak, who is the bull we bought last year. So he's still quite small, so we'll let him go on those. I think there's 25 in there for him. These are the ones that are empty. Um, plus this bullock here, which has still got his nuts. Uh, he's got one nut up inside him, so we might take him to market, because he'll be left on his own. And then we've got four heifers and two cows in here. Is it three cows? Oh yeah, 377. three cows and four heifers. So the heifers will go around again. Did you hear back from the vets? No. They run the bloods, do you know? Oh, no, not her. So we'll probably keep the heifers and possibly cull the cows. Well, here's somewhere we've not been for a little while. I'm just gonna pick up that trailer. It's full of scrap, but also water and uh, park it somewhere that the water can drain out. We've had a delivery. The bearing has come for the wagon. So we're going to try and fix that as well in a minute. See how we get on. And then, depending on how much time we've got and whether I do it today or not, we'll start getting kit out and set up. I've got all the domes that go on the tractors need to be updated. Get the first spin around, make sure that's still talking to the tractor. Mowers need um, going through before silage. I don't know we're a long way off that yet, but sort of stuff that needs to be done. We do want to get the sample and put it in that gap there as well which is that yellow combine over there. Because uh, currently it's taking up a whole bay by itself. We'll slot it in there and we'll gain a lot of shed space. But I need two hands for this. Trailer acquired. We're gonna take it down, turn around down here and point it uphill. So hopefully drain out the back. I've got a better plan. I'm gonna plug the oil pipe in and then tip it up slowly and let it just drain like that out the back because it's not completely watertight. I think that's the best thing to do. Right, which way are we going? Not that way. Tipping. First cut still on the floor there. There you are, look. There's a lot of water in there. Let's kill the tractor. We'll go and uh, take the wagon up the top. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna take a minute to drain. Good. There's loads of space in here for a bit more scrap, so we'll fill that up before we take it. I put it here so it can drain and then go into the grid. And I'm not putting water that's not completely clean anywhere that we shouldn't be. Anyway, let's go jump in big boots. Take that up the top. Right, bad things have happened. I turned round and that guard 
got caught underneath that wheel arch and it's now bent. Let's turn you off. I don't know why that's done that. I've used this tractor this morning and it was completely fine. Let's find a gear. So that's something else we need to go to the workshop for. Ah, there's always something. Can't ever just have a day where something doesn't just go to plan. Anyway. Right, I'm not having a very good afternoon here in terms of getting stuff done. We started putting the wagon back together because the new bearing come. I don't know if you can see that. We managed to break the top of it off, um, the casting. So that's not good. So that's on hold. John's had to disappear. So the belt is, is down there. That's not actually put back together yet. So that's the whole job there is on hold. Under the bonnet of the tractor here, the exhaust has been blowing air all over the engine. As you can see. Now the reason the engine is so black is because this um, coupler between this pipe here, a bit of flexi pipe for the exhaust, where it actually comes out there of the manifold, is um, rusted to hell and all broken and chewed up and mangled. So that's not a very tight fitting. So air has been escaping. And this had actually fallen down inside here. So I've managed to get it out. But we definitely need a new one. Um, but I've not ordered one because that takes time. And I wanted to fix it 10 minutes ago. So I've got it going now so that the air should be going down the pipe and up out the exhaust instead of painting the side of the engine black. I only actually looked under this side of the engine because I was working under this side. As I brought the tractor up here, the panel that sits there on the side got caught under this wheel arch and bent. See the bracket's now bent in under there. Bend that back like so. Um, so I popped the bonnet to get it back in place. And then John was on the other side and he said, oh look, that's black. And uh, yeah, but all this moves. I'm sure that's supposed to be fixed somewhere, but it's not. If anybody knows any better than me, let me know. Well, that seems to have secured that for now. We need to order the new bit that goes in the middle at some point. But yeah, a bit of a disappointing afternoon, really. I wanted to do that, and I can't. That's the side panel that's bent. I've got to straighten that out in a second. This is the side panel that lives on this side. Let's see if I can get this back on one-handed. Hooray. Right, that just pops in there, like so. I think we've got some form of diesel leak here as well. Um, possibly out of there. It's all damp. We've got to put new filters on this, so we'll wait until we do that. Uh, if it gets any worse, then we'll have to do something about it. It's always a slight weep. Uh, unless I can see something obvious in here. I might just fire it up a sec, see if I can see anything. There's nothing obvious. My suspicions is in there, because it's sort of like a spray mark up round the bottom of the engine block there. It's not oil out the cap. Got the dipstick. Dunno. Yeah, this is really not how I envision spending my afternoon. But I'm pretty sure this bracket needs to look like this one. So you know, it's bend it down over. That was upright. So I've bent it back in the vise. Um, that pipe is, sits on top like that with a little clip. I just want to offer him up with the panel, but I think I'm gonna have to do some bending to this as well. I mean, look, that's as straight as a roundabout, isn't it? Oh, goodness me. This is the clip that goes in to hold the pipe. I've got the panel on, it's not pretty, but it's effective, much like myself. That goes down through there like so and that pipe needs to spay up in a bit so i need three hands oh, there you are the pipe goes in like that right now i'll see if the bonnet will close that'll be the problem i think that's bent in i might have to take it off and bend all that back out but we'll have a look see if you can't fix it with a hammer it's not worth fixing you look at that it comes in and phew, was that one? It does a little bit, but it's more of a nice curve rather than a hoik and a bend. Huh. That's how it should look. That's how it does. Well, that's all right. Count that as a success. Just tighten up the um, 
nuts down there. I can probably get those with a spanner without having to go in. That'll be the best solution. So yeah, what started with work on the wagon elevator, that quickly ended, because um, sort of need John here to do that as well. I should probably do those grub screws up before they fall out. That might be worth doing. Anyway, so start with that. Then I found that. Well, actually, we only found that after we saw this. So yeah, it's been a bit of a job this afternoon. Right, I've had enough of looking at that for a minute. I actually need to feed some sheep, but both the tele handler and the loader tractor are over Rowden. Um, Joe and Josh are over there loading up some plastic. So I can't actually load that, even though I need to. So what I'm gonna do instead is take the scraper tractor down to the sheep I need to feed and scrape away whatever is left in front of them as it's gone off. Um, they'll be back in a minute and then we'll do a mix for the sheep and feed them. Most reliable tractor on the farm here has to start every morning. Never in doubt, ladies and gents. If I do this and they're still not back, I might try and move that Sampo. I know I was saying earlier about getting all the machines ready for fertilizing and silaging or whatever, but it's not gonna happen today. So I've just scraped out the sheep. They're there behind me. So as soon as Josh and um, Joe are back, we'll get a mix done for them. I just wanna show you something out here. The first cows of the year are now outside. Look at them. You right, cows? So there's two cows and two calves out there. They are gonna form the first part of the coal group. There's one cow down there that is um, a Yoni's positive cow. So we don't wanna breed replacements from her. We don't really wanna any of the other calves. Um, the other cow that's with her is a TB high risk cow. Um, what do I mean by TB high risk? She always comes very close to failing a TB test. Um, and she's been an IR on the last one. She then went clear. So we're not gonna worry about keeping her for any longer than we have to. So she'll rear her calf and then she'll go as well. So those two are the current coal group cows. Um, there'll be a couple more, either cows that haven't got calves with them at the moment or um, cows that have got like really bad feet or anything we don't wanna to keep to breed from. We'll join them and run around in their coal group, won't go anywhere near a bull. Um, and they were in a little pen at the top of the shed and it's just really hard to keep it clean with two cows and two calves in there. Um, we've got this nice little paddock down here behind the big shed, so it's sort of sheltered. And I know there's not a lot of grass in there, but there's enough for those four there. So hopefully they are adjusting to outside life well. I just thought I'd come and check this gate and good job I did, because it's not apps to anything. Should have checked that earlier, really. Guys have been busy setting up lambing pens. It won't be long now until lambing. What is the date? It's the 21st of March today, 10 days time we will have lambs on the floor. So what normally happens is one half of pens here is for the blues and their lambs to go in, so that's those. And then the ones down there, the greens, which is over there, they will go into with their lambs. Once they're well acquainted, they go into these top pens, which we call the turnout pens. Um, give them 24 hours in there. And then from there, they go in a trailer out to the field. Now you will be seeing me spending some time in the lambing shed this year, which is new, I know, but um, whether that's something to look forward to or not. It's happening. Just dropped a few blocks of silage in the trough there for the cows. We can use a shear grab here because we can actually get at the trough. But for those guys that end, um, we've got to use the chopper. The ones at the very end, they need a bale of hay, so we'll go and get that a second. That'll keep these happy. Hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, we'll have the wagon elevator working again. And feeding at the weekend will be a breeze. But yeah, I'm also going to go and empty the bales off of that trailer there need it tomorrow to take some bales over to Rowden to feed those guys. We've got a bale mixing up in the wagon for the sheep and then we'll be uh, getting towards finish for the day. Now if you're wondering why I'm taking these bales down one at a time and not just taking the trailer down with the Manitou, the Manitou doesn't want to know about it. I tried picking the trailer up, far too heavy. So I'm having to take them down one at a time. If I take another three or four off, I could probably take the trailer down. It'd be all right, but um, I'm not going very far. I'm only going down the little ramp here and in the silage pit. That bale in there is pretty well mixed now. So as soon as I finish moving these, I'm gonna feed that out. Trailer empty. We're just gonna push in for the cows. Last little thing tonight. Then I've got to feed those sheep. They should all be happy in there, which they are. Good, 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 good. 
Just push this in for these heifers here. That'll keep them going till the morning. They can get a fresh feed then. Right there, heifer. You just sniff my ties. Get this little bit of bailing for the cows as well. Hey, it's Paolo's mum. What's wrong? I am not talking to you. Crikey. I've upset them. What have you done with Pee Wee, Paolo's mum? Where is he? There he is! Pee Wee! How are you? Legend. Oh, what a night! I know it looks a bit grey. Foam doesn't do it justice. It is mild and dry. Concrete's dry. Not seen that in yonks. Just finished feeding out. I reckon we're going to have lambs here before too long. Look at the bag and belly on that. And that one as well. It's the 21st today, isn't it? I checked this earlier, yeah. 21st. I reckon by the 25th, we'll have our first lambs. Now, I'm working this weekend. Uh, it's Thursday today, so 22nd, 23rd is Friday, Saturday. Yeah, 23rd is Saturday, uh, and I'm working. So what normally happens is when I'm working, stuff like that kicks off. Or we have poorly cut off, things that require more time and attention always like to happen on Friday evenings or Sunday mornings. It tends to be how it goes. Well, I'd say that's pretty well drained out now. I expect there's a little bit of water left. I won't be able to see that until I go to edit this. But um, grabbing all the keys out of the machines before going home. I've got a bale of hay to put in for the dry cows. And then I'm done. And we all know what happens on a Thursday night with a dart. Right, just got to take this bale of hay out for the dry cows. And he's going for a different look with his uh, wipers by the looks of things. So another day on the farm draws to a close. We got a couple of calves that we're having to give um, rehydration electrolyte stuff to. So we've just done that, me and Joe. Um, we're obviously treating them for crypto now as they're born. They get the cryptos in. One today, hopefully that will keep well, any of this trouble away we're having. We are toying with the idea of just hoiking all the dung out of the carving pen shed tomorrow and chucking down a heap of lime. See if that helps and some fresh bedding. I mean, they get bedded every day anyway. Um, but just to see if that helps at all. But they all look happy enough in there at the moment, so we'll come back in the morning and see how they're getting on. Right, I've just made it home. I uh, spoke to my wife on the way home, and she goes, well, we were going to have Hunter's chicken for tea, but we've not got enough barbecue sauce. And that's probably my favourite meal ever, is Hunter's chicken. Absolutely love it, as well as many other things. Um, so you better know, I went and got the barbecue sauce on the way home, so I am having Hunter's chicken for tea. Some boy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on another video soon. Cheerio. Up there.